first half we were quite sloppy. Um, we gave them a chance. Uh, Ewan made a great save. Uh, but I think the second half we were outstanding. We moved the ball very quickly. Uh, made a lot of chances. With our possession game, I think that we tired them out. I think. But I think second second half because we because we moved the ball very quickly through the lines. I think it enabled us to have. A better chance on goal, whereas the first half, because we were moving the ball slow, it was, it was half chances. In the second half, because we moved the ball that bit quicker, we were better. I thought it went well. I thought we started the second half stronger than the first. We had the distraction of the crowd, we mainly uh, made most of the half. And then we came out second half, had a good team talk at uh, half time. And we came out second half and uh, we did well. We moved the ball around quicker, got the goals we deserved. First half an hour, they pressed aggressively. We made lots of wrong choices. Um, but luckily, still in the game at half time, only losing 1 0. Um, and then, second half, we've gone longer passes to try and get in behind and use our pace up front. Um, and, it, and it worked twice with a good goal by Kate Lee and a good free kick by Alfie Merriman. And the last 20 minutes of the first half, a lot better. High intensity, created one or two chances, we need to be clinical more. Uh, but second half, very, very pleased second half. I say against a good team who, who won't lose many points this season in, in the division. boys were very good today. Uh, we lacked a little bit of quality than we have in the, in the previous rounds, but our hard work and our determination was, was first class today. And I said to the boys in the change room, I'm so proud of them. Uh, and it, it's from you and all the way up to the top of the pitch to Reese. I thought defensively we were outstanding today. I thought our shape, although they had probably more of the ball, I thought our shape was very good. And I think we restricted them to maybe two, three clear cl cl chances. Um, so, real uh, testament to Ashe. Feeling ecstatic, and as soon as the full time whistle went, you could see the excitement on the lads' faces. We were buzzing on the pitch, celebrating. In the changing room, as soon as we got in, there was a roar, started uh, clapping each other's hands. It was, it was a great feeling now that we know we have to go to Port Vale on Monday, 29th play on. Be a good atmosphere, good to play them. We got their lead early on from mistake, Reese running through onto a long ball, keeping the defender miscommunication, scored into an empty net. So from there, it was like we didn't play the best football, but like we fought out through the game and then got a reward at the end by like, final whistle. Like um, at half time, it was 4 0, we could stop playing. You know, we kept going, getting more goals, and that's what we want, really. It's frustrating, but we're still sometimes trying to do the right things with them, but it just wasn't working. We didn't do the things we normally do. I think the pressure got to us a little bit, but it was, it was a good opposition, it tested us, but it just wasn't good enough. You know, we're disappointed with the loss, um, but it doesn't take away um, you know, my pride for the boys. Um, you know, we've come a long way, um, you know, but we've been beaten by a better team tonight. As a team and as an individual, you know, they would have learned a lot tonight. Um, you know, they would have learned. When, when it is right to, to play and when it's right to, to, to not to play. Um, I thought you know, they were better in the transitions than us and I think that was the deciding factor in the game. 
I've just said to, said to them in the change rooms, you know, I want them to, to keep their heads up. You know, we, we've still got the league, the league cup, um, you know, and they've got a lot to be proud of.